draw a suffragette. This is probably more likely a suffragist, and there is a difference. Um, draw the head about like that and a neck and then we're going to want to have a kind of a body about like that and then we're going to have skirts coming about there and then we're going to want feet about there which means then we can think about where she's going to have a banner saying votes for women round about there so then we want this at a slight angle like that because you tend to hold a banner at a slight angle and that will be about right so we'll just do something like that just to get us going now in ink what we're going to do is draw a curve and another curve and that's going to be kind of like a band across the front of her hat and then put a great big bow like that and then more kind of bands around there and then this is kind of like the crown of her hat we can maybe have a bit more sort of ribboniness going on around there and then I'm going to draw her fringe like a center parting kind of thing and then we can draw her face coming down there and then give her a lot of hair so this is very squiggly hair and we can just kind of squiggle wiggle her hair in there and we'll give her some eyes and a nose and I think she will be shouting votes for women and then I think we will right yes let's come down here so we'll give her her neck and then come around there like that so I've slightly adapted this from um, a cover of the suffragist magazine and there were the suffragists and there were the suffragettes and the suffragettes they were the ones who kind of ended up in prison um, they were more radical um, and they would be you know sort of throwing themselves in front of the king's horse and doing things to get themselves arrested getting themselves into prison that kind of thing uh, so they were kind of the really serious campaigners and then I'm not saying less serious but most people you know have families and things to worry about and, <laughs> and jobs to keep and things and didn't want to uh, end up in prison and so they were the suffragists and they um, were probably the larger organization and they kind of had great big marches and things like that and I think between the two movements suffragists and suffragettes I think that's how votes for women were won by kind of pointing out all the inequalities but also I think the suffragettes gained far more headlines in the newspapers and um, you know sort of just made more noise generally but the suffragists went on huge marches enormous numbers of women from all around the country or meeting up in London and and sort of making their point so we want to draw this kind of outer skirt and then we might have some kind of ribbons around the bottom of the inner skirt like that and slightly wavy at the bottom now feet are always difficult so what I'm going to do is kind of come down just slightly to one side and then up so it looks a bit like a sock like that and then we're going to draw the shoe so that will come there and up in a kind of an S and a heel this comes forward back and up in a kind of an S like that the heel there and you might have pockets now when you are sure the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines because you didn't press too hard did you <laughs> I was encouraging not to press too hard on the pencil because then it's easier to erase afterwards. And then we want to have on her banner, we want votes for women. And this is always a tricky bit, is getting it to fit, isn't it? So if you pencil it very lightly so you can erase it afterwards, that's good. And then we want a typeface that is in keeping with the time. Quite often you will see you know people do drawings or something or other and quite often in movies I notice 
they kind of do a mock-up of a newspaper or something like that in a historical thing and I think wait a minute that typeface hadn't been invented then <laughs> so right so this is a very normal kind of condensed sans serif typeface that you'd have seen in the newspapers and things quite normally every day in those days so W's are quite difficult up and down and up and then we want an O and then M's are quite difficult so go up and down so it's, I always think of them as little mountains like that and so I think we're just going to fit this in so if you're not sure then just, you know, do all this bit in pencil to make sure you're going to fit it in underneath erase that again and I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in under there and maybe a bit of shadow there we could put a bit of shadow underneath her arm and some that once you start putting shadow in of course you have to keep going <laughs> it never stops we'll want a little bit of shadow in underneath there probably underneath there on her ankles like that um, and then we can put some shadow in on the ground as well like that and maybe we could put a horizon line there in the background and then I'm just going to finish with a little bit of shading around on her hat and because I just can't stop I'm going to add a bit more shading on her hair like that and because she's got such a large brim I'm going to put a bit of shading across her eyes there as well oh and underneath there you can never stop you see <laughs> There we go, how to draw a suffragist or a suffragette, real easy.